serious when I was there. I think it hasn't happened before. It's somehow how it feels to be able to make that to achieve that. Uh, yes, yeah, very pleasing. Um, obviously, a very proud sporting country. Um, we've had some great battles over the years, and uh, and the last four days was was no different. Um, I think the the special um, I guess sentiment around the the Tangiwa Shield and, and the inaugural one, uh, uh, series with that is uh, I guess adds that little bit of um, uh, history to it as well. Yeah, we've had uh, yeah, we've played a number of series and, and been on the on the other end, and um, yeah, it's just pleasing. I think to um, I guess test wins they're, they're, they're tough. Uh, we, we saw that over the last last four days, and um, and yeah, it's just pleasing to be able to I guess uh, proud of the group um, to to be able to I guess uh, be the first ones to to be able to beat South Africa in a in a series. No, it's, <laughs> I've run out of words to to describe it. I think um, we touched on it last week, but he's yeah he's a special talent. Um, not an easy wicket, and uh, and he just finds a way. Um, and we knew if if someone could stick with him and uh, and he could just show his, his brilliance throughout today, then um, then it was was going to make things a little bit easier for us. And um, he did that. Um, he was tested with spin and um, and pace and. And obviously a, a, a challenging wicket at times, but um, but as we've seen, seen over the years, he's he's come out on top. And um, I touched on it last week. After 12 months, he's had um, with injuries and, and setbacks and rehabs and uh, coming back, and it's it's just phenomenal to see him um, be able to go and do what he does. And, and long may it continue. Not really, I don't think to reveal trade secrets, but during a day like that, does he compartmentalise himself, or does he get away from? Yeah, he gets into his batting bubble and uh, and just just he's I guess it's his happy place. Um, we, uh, we we sort of joke about it that he doesn't like spending time with us. So he'd rather spend it out in the middle. But um, but no, I think it's just his pure hunger for 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 batting, his pure love for batting. Um, not only in the middle, but the time he spends in the nets. Um, he's just he's just always looking at ways to to improve his game and. Um, yeah, it's just there's no no fluke that, that he's as good as he is because he, he trains as hard as I've ever seen anyone. He hits his, he hits more balls than anyone I've ever seen. Um, he's um, yeah, he's he just gets into that zone and uh, and he's just a guy that you you want in your team. Um, and we've seen not only in the last wee while, I think that's what his seventh hundred in his last seven Test matches or, or something ridiculous. But um, but for over ten years he's been uh, been been an incredible member of the side and uh, certainly one of our one of our greats. And and there's still more more to come. Yeah, he's done. Uh, Unbelievable start um, to. I, I saw a bit of him a couple of years back, and he obviously has a few traits that you you like from a fast bowler. And um, and to be able to see him perform at uh, at the Test level, obviously at a taste in the in the one day format um, earlier in the summer, and to see him uh, do his thing out there, and uh, it was it was pretty impressive. Uh, big guy, good pace, uh, good skill, good control. So. Um, yeah, it's great to see see a young guy be able to come through, and um, and and I guess to, he's only played 15 or 16 first class games, but he he seems to to know his game reasonably well. So um, I'm sure he's got a a very bright future at the at the highest level. Tim, that was a test that not necessarily might keep away from you, but was sort of swinging in South Africa's favour like yesterday until that Glenn Phillips catch and that, that really lifted things. Yeah, it did. I think you look at moments in games, and and that certainly was a, a moment. Um, and and I guess the way that we sort of finished the day yesterday and, and test cricket is uh, it's it's over five days it uh, tests you and tests you in periods but if you hang in there long enough and and grab moments like that then things can change change pretty quickly and I'm I'm not sure of the exact numbers but it was six for six for thirty odd or six for forty odd in that last uh, the last session where things sort of looked like it was sort of getting away a little bit from us um, but uh, we knew if you hang in there um, and and things can can happen in a hurry and it just took that little bit of but a brilliance from from Glenn, which we've seen, um, we've seen him take plenty of great catches over his career, and uh, that was that was certainly a, a turning point um, in the in the match. Can you just go back to say as well? Can you clarify any confusion over the check between you and Neil yesterday that was going on? 
Um, yeah, we had uh, obviously Neil's a very passionate man. He's uh, we all love him to bits, and, and what he brings to the side, and we're just trying to just trying to channel his energy into the into the right place. He's obviously done a tremendous job for us. He was probably a little bit frustrated. It took so long to to uh, to come to the bowling crease, and um, yeah, just making sure that uh, channel his energy into into what we needed from him at the time. And um, yeah, we, it's uh, I, mean, I think we saw he came on and, and, and took that wicket, and, um, and and that was a big part in the game as well. Um, yeah, I think uh, the surfaces we've played on haven't been obviously uh, too seamer friendly, but um, I think the job that Kyle did in, in Tauranga, it's the job that Willow Rock did here, um, and then we've been been aided by the ability to have two guys in the top seven be able to be able to bowl as well, and um, and they've chipped in and in and around as well. But um, yeah, I think you look at. Uh, the rest of us, you always, you always want to, to do better. Uh, you want to take as, as many wickets, but um, but but as a bowling unit, we're, we're it's a, a I guess a different bowling unit to what um, I guess the settled group we had for for ten years or so. Um, but um, but yeah, it's been it's I guess it's uh, two test wins. You need to take take twenty wickets to win a test match, and um, and we've done that over the, over the last two matches. And um, like all all the players, we, we'll um, have a little break from test cricket now for. And we'll come back and work on our games and, and try and be better um, each time we go out there. And just one more, Kane. Do you kind of expect it by now? Like, you know, last night at the hotel, coming to the ground today, kind of envisaging how the day's going to play out. You know, he's coming out there. Do kind of think he's going to the match winning mark? Um, oh, I guess the amount of times he's done it, um, it's it's no surprise. But um, but on that wicket, it, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. And um, and he showed his class. And um, like I said, I've been very lucky to have a pretty good seat for. For, for all his career and, and played a lot of cricket with him and um, and it just I'm um, running out of words to, to describe him and uh, and I'm, I'm sure it's not going to end anytime soon there's uh, there's still plenty more brilliant things from uh, one of our, our greatest ever. Tim just on Neil giving him a shift after he got the wicket is that genuine frustration from him or is that a bit of a laugh to take out of context or uh, I don't know what the shush was about, but we know Neil's a, a very passionate guy. He wears his heart on his sleeve, and um, and um, but yeah, he just he just uh, I think he was a bit frustrated with with how long it took him to get into the game, and obviously came into the game and, and made the breakthrough straight away. So um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah he's just trying to just channel that energy into into the job in hand. Um, yeah, we'll enjoy this series. Um, obviously, a um, bit of history to um, to sink in and uh, and enjoy and look back, and then we'll we'll shift our focus to to Australia. But um, see how everyone pulls up, and um, I guess there's a, a squad to be named at, at some stage. But it's just it's just great to see Will come in and and uh, and show that he's he's more than capable at this level. How are you feeling about your own bowling? Um, yeah, I've I've. I feel I've bowled worse and got uh, more wickets, and um, that's the way the game goes at times. You obviously want your, the currency you're dealing as a bowler is, is wickets, and you always want more wickets. And, and I guess it was a, a poor return this series, but um, we've got 10 days or two weeks till the till the test starts, and uh, we're working hard to to try and finish the summer strong. And just lastly, Kevin, is this team in a position where it can beat Australia? Do you think? Um, I guess we've always had the obviously knowing Australia's coming, and, and it's been at the back of everyone's mind, and. But our focus has been been on this series, and, and I guess now our focus can now finally shift to, to what should be an exciting end to the summer. And um, I think you look at our record in New Zealand; it's we've had a, a number of series wins. Um, I'm not sure exactly when the last series we we lost in New Zealand was, but um, but we've been a very competitive side in our conditions. So um, it's been a long time since we've played at Australia in these conditions, and, and we're certainly looking forward to um, like the rest of the New Zealand scene to be looking forward to what should be a, a great few weeks. Cool. Thanks, everyone.